Yo, and welcome back to the Mix Wizard Sessions, Episode 5, The Social Distancing Experiment. In today's episode, I'm going to look at panning. Panning is all about spreading things apart, and as we're all experiencing at the moment with social distancing, it's about keeping things apart. I love panning. Panning is one of the most useful tools we have inside our mixing console. Okay, uh, when everything, when you've just got everything mono, everything's all fighting for the same space. But by panning things out in your mix, you don't have to turn the level up. Suddenly you get more space in the mix for all these elements to go. So I'm going to look, I've got a mix going on. We're going to look at some vocals and I'm going to look at some guitars and how without changing any levels, just by panning, we can suddenly hear those elements better in our mix. So let's have a little look. So in this mix, okay, I've got going on, um, I've got four vocals here and I've got some guitars. I'm just going to play it. Everything at the moment is all just in mono. Okay, don't know about you at the moment, it's just, I can hear the lead vocal, I can, I can, I can hear vocals are there, and I can hear guitars are there, but it, it's, it's, it's just all very mono, I, I can't define those voices. All I'm going to do is I'm going to pan the BVs, and let's have a little listen, okay? So I am at the minute, just to also give us better clarity, I'm going to just mute the guitars for the minute, okay? So I've got a lead vocal, I've got a BV, number one, which I'm going to keep in the middle, BV2, okay, I'm going to pan to the left, BV3, I'm going to pan all the way to the right, okay, so I've just panned those, now I'm going to play back that same section and have a listen, I've not changed any volumes, you'll clearly hear all vocals. Open the flat case wide, I want to be washed in. Cool. Now, I've got no effects on those vocals or anything else. You can hear, I've got a vocal here, I've got a vocal here, and the two vocals in the middle, it's a, a male and a female vocal, suddenly they've got their, everything's got space and I can define those vocals. What if I put some effects in with that? Okay, so let's have a quick listen to the same passage with my effects. Open the flat case wide. I want to be washed in. Now, just for clarity, okay, I'm going to pan back these other two vocals, back to the center, back to the center, and I'm going to play that same section. Open the flat case wide. I want to be washed in the river. Pulled by the rolling side to you. Cool. So when I play it all back together, it's all... I can hear vocals, but I can't define each person's voice. By panning them, I'm creating space and clearly letting me pick each person's voice out when I listen to the mix. Now, I'm not afraid of panning, okay? Um, some people go, oh, but, you know, what if I'm sitting over in that side of the auditorium or sitting over here? Okay, everyone, most modern PAs have very good coverage, okay? And you do need to be sensible about this but I'm not afraid of panning, okay? One of my theories is I go to a full acoustic concert at the Opera House and I sit down on the front row and I'm sitting down, you know, off to the right-hand side in front of the cellos. I'm going to hear more cellos in the mix. Maybe I'm in the cheap, the cheap seats behind the orchestra in the choir rostrum, okay? I'm going to hear more percussion because that's where the percussion is, but I'm still getting a great experience and panning helps your mix have slightly different experiences depending where you are in the room, but it also should be portraying a much more depth to your mix. Let's now have a look at some guitars. So same thing, I've got two guitars going on and I'm going to play the same section with my two guitars and let's see if we can define the two guitars when they're in mono. So I'm going to mute the vocals for the second, okay, just the guitars. Actually, I'm going to jump to another section down here. 
because there's also an acoustic going on. So let's see what we get. Okay, so I've got an acoustic and two guitar parts all in mono. Okay, I'm going to do the same trick. I'm going to take this guitar, I'm going to pan him fully left. I'm going to pan this one fully right. Okay, and I'm going to leave the acoustic in the middle. I'm going to play the same section again, and now you'll hear, hopefully, you should hear two electric guitar parts and acoustic up the middle. So again, I've done nothing more than pan the guitars, pan the vocals, and suddenly it sounds much wider and a lot more interesting. Let's put the whole lot together quickly. I'm just going to play from that same section and then put the vocals in. Then they'll start singing in a second. <laughs> Cool? So hopefully you heard from that little section. It's now big and wide. Go back and listen to the very beginning when I played it and it was all mono and it was, you know, not a lot of space. So panning is your friend. Okay, um, so yeah, at this time, practice as much social distancing panning as you can. And yeah, and I'll see you in the next episode.